This is a model of our solar system and some constellations, the, the constellations that make up the zodiac. And so what I want to have students see is that when the Earth is um, in, you know, in the position where it would be in December, the North Pole is tilted away from the sun. And you can see the, 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 the terminator line here, it's nighttime over here, it's daytime over here, and you can see that a smaller portion of the northern hemisphere is in light and a greater portion of the northern hemisphere is in darkness. Well, at this position, um, what you would see is that at nighttime over here, you would see these constellations. So before we go through the constellations, there's a couple of things that I wanna go over. Number one, as the Earth revolves around the sun, its north pole is tilted and pointing toward the North Star. The Earth wobbles a bit, but it's pretty much pointing towards the North Star. And so in this position, the, the North Pole in December is tilted away from the Sun, and by the time it comes around here, it's tilted toward the Sun. So we've got these two extremes. In, in the winter solstice, it's pointing away from the Sun in the Northern Hemisphere, and the North Pole is told tilted toward the sun um, during the summer solstice. So it's tilted towards the sun, and then as it moves around, so in September, um, at the autumnal equinox, it's not tilted toward or away from the sun. In fact, the, when the light shines here, it, it shines equally on both the northern and southern hemispheres. And then as it moves away, now the North Pole is tilted away, so the northern hemisphere receives uh, less light. More of the northern hemisphere is in shadow or behind that terminator line in the in the darkness here. And the south pole is tilted towards the sun, so more of the southern hemisphere um, is receiving light. So um, when the earth is here, and I drew a little, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little person I drew here. As this little person turns and goes into the darkness, they're going to start to see these stars. And as the earth turns um, at midnight, um, perhaps they would see Aries, but over here, these stars would start to set and these stars would start to rise as the Earth turns. So as the Earth's turning, um, when I come into darkness, I'm over here and I'm seeing these stars, but then these stars seem to be setting and the stars over here will seem to rise. As the Earth revolves throughout the year, so now in March, in March, in the evening time, we're gonna to start to see Taurus setting in the evening, and we're gonna to start to see Virgo rising, and at midnight, we would probably see Cancer pretty high in the sky. And when we come over here, um, we're gonna see, see the stars that are out here, but we're not gonna see the stars that are blocked by the sun or by the rim of the Earth, okay? So in this model, we can look at a number of different things. We can see that that during different seasons of the year, we're gonna see different constellations. We're gonna see that the, ro the rotation of the Earth causes constellations to rise and set. So the ones over here will be rising as we turn toward them, and these constellations will be setting as we turn away from them. Um, and so this is a, a, a pretty important model. I, what, what we do is we have the kids really kind of think about the model and then they have to create their own model, um, maybe just using one example or a couple examples to explain um, why we see certain constellations at different times of the year.